I'm Anita Wardlaw, and welcome to a fresh new day. against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil, for thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Believe, see, and speak words of life. Believe, see, and speak words of life. Brothers and sisters, storms will come, but it's what you say when they come. You can say, peace be still, and the storm will cease. You can say, I trust in Jesus, and victory will come. There's always an answer that a believer has that's way above the storm level. We're eagles. We are called to soar high in the sky. And we are propelled by the words that we speak. For we know that storms come, but what do we say when they come? It says in 1 Peter 3.10, For he that will love life and see good days, let him refrain his tongue from evil, and his lips that they speak no guile. My friends, when the Jewish people were called into the promised land, some spies went out to spy out. But they say some had an evil report. And some had a good report. Now what was the evil report? They spoke a truth. They said they're giants in the land. So you might say, why is that evil? It's because what they said was a statement of fear. They saw themselves as worms, and they saw the giants as greater than they. But there were two who said, we are well able to take the land. And that's what God says to you. You are well able to take the land each day. Each day is a promised land. Each day, there may be a prayer that you're to pray that will change the course of a whole situation. Maybe there's a loved one in your life and you might be in your time of quiet with the Lord and you might cry out to God and say, I believe you're well able to intervene in their life. And you know there's no distance in the spirit realm. And you can touch someone by the words you say in your prayer class. You know, you can touch your neighbor by the words you say. You can say, good morning, neighbor. I believe it will be a good day for you. And you know, the very words that you speak will change the course of their destiny. Because we have power in our mouth, there's a miracle in your mouth. What do you say 
If someone says they have an ache, do you say, welcome to the club? That's not the right thing to say. Apparently somebody said it because they're chuckling. It's a normal thing, but we'll rise above the normal. We rise up to wings as eagles. I'm called to call you to see yourself as more than a conqueror. To see yourself as well able to face every day. To see yourself as well able to make a difference in ways that you may not know. And sometimes it's in your prayer closet that you're changing things for people in a mighty way that you never knew and you will find out in eternity. You'll find out those words that you said made all the difference. It says in Proverbs 18.21, Death and life are in the power of the tongue, and they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. That means we get what we say. When we say, I believe I am able to take the land because God is faithful, then God will hearken to his word to perform it. But he has to hear his word. He has to hear those words of life because words of life change the atmosphere. In Mark eleven twenty three, 23, it says, For verily I say unto you, this is Jesus speaking, that whosoever shall say unto this mountain, Be thou removed, and be thou cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that those things which he saith shall come to pass, he shall have whatsoever he saith. Friends, you may have heard of the phrase, sticks and stones can hurt my bones, but words will never hurt me. Friends, you might have heard the phrase that said, sticks and stones will hurt my bones, but words will never hurt me. That statement is not true. Words can help you and they can hurt you, but it depends on whether you receive them. They don't have to hurt you. Only believe the good words. If someone says something about you or to you that's not good, then disregard it. Say, I don't receive that. <laughs> You're not talking about me. I'm more than a conqueror. I am the head and not the tail. I am above and not beneath. Amen? Because what God says is the final say. There is the natural realm and there's the spiritual realm. And the highest truth is what God says about the situation. It says in Matthew 4.4, 4, But he answered and said, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. Again, that's Jesus speaking. So we are to speak life and live. Say, speak life and live. We are to believe, see ourselves in the promise, speak and live. People who believe God's word saw themselves in the truth of God's word, spoke words of life that agreed with God's word and lived. Look at the woman with the issue of blood in Luke chapter 8. And a woman having an issue of blood 12 years, which had spent all her living upon physicians, neither could be healed, came behind him and touched him, the border of his garment, and immediately her issue of blood stopped or stopped. Let's look at it in Mark. It goes on to say what she said beginning with verse 21 of Mark 5. And when Jesus was passed over again by ship unto the other side, much people gathered unto him, and he was nigh unto sea. And behold, there cometh one of the rulers of the synagogue, Jairus by name. 
And when he saw him, he fell down at his feet and besought him greatly, saying, My little daughter lieth at the point of death. I pray thee, come and lay hands on her, that she may be healed, and she shall live. Now, he had said something very important. He said that she would live. So let's leave that. And Jesus went with him, and much people followed him and thronged him. And as Jesus was going with Jairus, there came this woman with the issue of blood. And a certain woman which had an issue of blood 12 years and had suffered many things of many physicians and had spent all that she had and was nothing bettered, but rather grew worse when she heard of Jesus. Now friends, it says that faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. And she heard at that time all the Bible wasn't written, but she heard the word that Jesus was in the land, healing and touching people and blessing people. And she believed. When she heard of Jesus, came in the press behind and touched his garment, for she said, say said. said. She said, if I may touch but his clothes, I shall be whole. Now, if she would have said, well, it won't make any difference. He doesn't care about me. Well, you know what would have happened? Nothing would have happened. But she said, if I can touch by his, the hem of his garment. And straightway, the fountain of her blood was dried up, and she felt in her body that she was healed of that plague. And Jesus, immediately knowing in himself that virtue had gone out of him, turned him about in the press and said, Who touched my clothes? And his disciples said unto him, Thou seest the multitude thronging thee, and saith thou who touched me. Now, we'll stop right there. But we go on to see that People come to discourage Jairus, and Jesus tells him not to be afraid, only believe. He goes on and he heals his daughter, but he said that Jesus would heal her. She said that Jesus would heal. We are to say that God will help us. You know, there's instant miracles and there are healings that are working out. But if you don't quit, you win. It says, if we grow not weary and well-doing in due season, we shall reap if we faint not. So no matter what we're going through, if we keep our hand in God, that's the safe place. We never want to let go of his hand because he will help us every step of the way. He will never leave you nor forsake you. He said, I will be with you, yea, for all eternity. And so that means not only in this life, but for even an eternal life in heaven. God will be with those who believe in him and trust in him. So we are to believe, see, speak life, and live. We are to believe, see, speak life, and live. And our life is an eternal life. We have life in this dispensation, and we have life forever in heaven. Jesus wants us to believe his word, to speak it, and to say what he says about us. Jesus said, you're the head and not the tail. So you say, I'm the head and not the tail. He says, you're more than a conqueror. So say, I am more than a conqueror. He says that you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. So say, I can, I can do, all do all things 
through Christ, through Christ who, strengthens me. who strengthens me. He says he will never leave you nor forsake you. So say, Jesus, Jesus will never, will never leave, me, leave me nor forsake me. Nor forsake he says that he loves you. Say, Jesus loves me. Jesus loves me. So let us sing, Jesus loves me.
To you be all the glory, all the honor, and all the praise. So let us sing the battle hymn of the Republic. You know, we're in a fight. And we're winning. Because we're more than conquerors through Christ who gives us strength. Each day is a fight of faith. But as long as we don't quit, we win. Amen? Yeah. 
in Jesus. As it says in your book on 86,